Hey, this is Michael with Icon Assist. Today, I just wanted to communicate Shutterstream version 2.1 in our automated background removal tool. Um, I have my camera connected via USB, and I've just enabled Live View. As you can see, my hand going back and forth. I am going to take my subject. Um, I did want to shoot something white um, as well, um, just to communicate the, how well this tool actually does. Um, okay, so obviously that's a real-time preview. You do have obviously full control over your camera settings, um, completely hands-free photography. Um, so you want to optimize stuff. As you make changes to your camera settings, you're going to see those results in real-time. Um, my next step here would be to pre-crop my subject. So I'm going to say only take a picture. I'm holding shift. I just want to crop in a perfect square. So I'm going to say only take a picture of what's inside this crop area. Um, and once it looks good to go, I'm simply going to hit my... Uh, snap button. Actually, the last thing I could do if I wanted would be to adjust my focal point. You can see as I make changes, um, it starts to adjust my focal point. So let's pretend that's pretty good there. And I will hit my snap button. That's going to capture the image and upload it into our application. And we can see image uh, looks quite good. One thing I will mention is that uh, all monitors show color a little bit differently. Um, so if it looks a little bit light or dark on your end, please just understand that uh, uh, you're, you're monitor colors might show and display a little bit differently than than mine do. Uh, so I'm just shooting for what looks good on my uh, my monitor. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm shooting a couple different uh, couple different angles here. Um, the one thing to point out um, in this uh, kind of this is kind of your standard workflow live view snap live view snap. And the cool thing about this is obviously that it uh, it does remember your settings from shot to shot. So um, if you did, uh, obviously you want your consistency from shot to shot, and this is going to give you the exact same crop every time. Um, so I've just shot my four product images very fast, very efficiently. As you can see in the thumbnail gallery down here, one, two, three, four. Um, pretty nice background, so probably pretty close to pure white. We are shooting in our LED, uh, our 15 inch LED photography studio. Um, let me take one more picture of just the background. Um, our background removal tool actually gives you the, the cutout entirely onto a transparent background. Um, and I'm going to communicate that for you right now. I'm going to select all five of these images, uh, obviously the four product images and my background only image. Uh, what we use in our automated background removal tool is uh, computer vision. More specifically, we're using image recognition to understand what pixels change from a product image to a background image and uh, automatically going to cut those out. Um, so I'm going to enter into our BR tool with my product image. And you're going to see here, we were given a very nice cutout already. Um, you do have multiple variables. Uh, first foremost is your threshold. Uh, too low, it's not going to give you a good cutout. Too high, you're going to see it starts to eat into the product. Um, obviously, whatever is blinking gray right now is what's being cut out. You also do have your edge sensitivity um, and edge blending, which kind of provide a smoothing on the edge of the uh, actual product. And then you also have a whole fill radius. So let's just go and inspect our image. And we can see it's giving us a very nice cutout around our subject here. Um, when I'm ready to go, I'm gonna simply hit apply to all. So instead of just apply to a single image, I can trust that when I hit apply to all in a batch process, it's gonna go ahead and remove the backgrounds from all our product images, again, through one click. I'm not using the most powerful computer here. It's a uh, i3. Uh, processor, but uh, overall, um, it's as you can see, it's a very fast and very efficient workflow. Um, and the cool thing is, let me actually show you just up close here so you can actually inspect these images, how well it's actually done at our uh, background removal um, of actually cutting out the product. If you ever need to add parts back in, for instance, if it does eat back in, we've got tools that allow you to do that as well. Um, and as you can see, it's giving us this, this cutout onto our um, transparent background. Um, so basically from here, our last step is we go and say, okay, we've got our four product images. I want to go and output these. Um, I'll use, for instance, let's go to our dynamic save tool. Um, I created the profile here that'll say, okay, here's going to be the name of these images. Resize, you know, I want a JPEG at 72 DPI resolution. I'll resize to 1,000. Maybe those are the images from my website. Let's also output these as a PNG so that it'll retain obviously the transparent background qualities. I define my save to location and I hit OK and it's going to save each of these images twice. Again, once as JPEG resized to a thousand pixels wide. Uh, the other would be to uh, a PNG image 
Um, and as you can see, it's outputting all these images into this folder that I specified. Um, obviously, you do a full control over uh, um, over the background color. Uh, for instance, when I'm outputting my uh, my JPEG images, I said, okay, automatically make it a white background. And as you can see here, um, we've also got color correction tools inside of our editing tool. Um, for instance, if this looks too light or too dark, you can start to make some changes. And again, you can apply that to all or apply to a single image. Anyways, a very powerful tool that uh, obviously is going to streamline workflows and uh, eliminate a lot of the uh, mundane tasks of manually editing images and, and cutting out backgrounds. Let us know if there's any questions. Again, this is Shutterstream product photography software, and we're working with the 15-inch LED studio from Iconosys. Thank you.